video over there is a, a little bit more uh, uh, focused and there's a two close there's a few there's one close-up view and one wide view so uh, it's a better view over there okay so those on Instagram go to Facebook if you want a better view if you are okay with this current view uh, you can stay on Instagram okay we are now live on Facebook as well Hello everyone. I don't know which camera should I see. Oh, that camera. Um, hello everyone. Okay, welcome to my online live session. Okay, which I do it uh, every two weeks. I try. Okay, so far yes. Uh, every two weeks I do share something with you. Last week, if you remember, and if you join us, uh, it was a classic tiramisu making. So I make tiramisu uh, last two weeks uh, two weeks ago and today we are going to make gluten-free brownie okay for those who are allergic to gluten or prefer to eat um, uh, food that is gluten-free okay this might be something for you okay brownies is uh, pretty um welcome by everyone it's not something uh, too fancy it's a very safe choice so we're gonna do gluten-free brownie. Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so as mentioned on uh, Facebook, there will be a few views. We will change the view. If we want you to see a more uh, close-up view, we will change it, okay? Uh, and any questions you have, anytime during the class, uh, do feel free to comment. Uh, just comment, type in, and when I see it on my screen, and when I'm available, I will answer them. Okay, feel free to ask me questions. Okay, on Instagram as well, I think you should be able to comment as well. Okay, people on Instagram, you can comment, and I will answer them when I see it. Okay, without further ado, let's start okay of course uh, before we start every single thing we measure all our ingredients properly and turn on our oven preheat your oven to the correct temperature then you start to do your better okay so gluten free brownie so there's no uh, normal wheat flour in there uh, the main ingredient that we use to uh, change out the wheat flour we are gonna use either corn starch, uh, corn flour, or you can use a uh, tapioca flour, or you can use like almond flour, okay? Of course, um, different flour that you use will create a uh, different kind of texture and taste. Probably the one with almond, you will definitely taste some almond in it. So, but if you want a nut free, you're also allergic to nuts at the same time, then of course don't use almond flour, just use corn flour or tapioca flour, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Um, first step, we're gonna cream butter and sugar, okay? We have butter and brown sugar in my bowl. And the next step will be adding on eggs, normal room temperature eggs, okay? Then we're gonna add in melted Butter, okay, my, uh, not butter, butter, melted chocolate. My chocolate, um, unfortunately, already hardened, so I will uh, need it melted again, okay? So I'm going to it. And get ready your um, dry ingredient, which is, I use um, tapioca flour and cocoa powder, okay? Tapioca flour and cocoa powder. And get ready your pan or paper. Okay, uh, what chocolate did I use? I use Verona chocolate today. Okay, this is the one that I use. 
you can use any kind of chocolate. It's uh, up to you. You want it like a uh, darker and more bitter taste, you should use a higher percentage, 70%, and 80%. It's up to you. Today, I'm using 55%. Okay, let's start. Uh, we will need a hand mixer to start beating. Okay. Ay. Uh -uh. Let's see. Okay, big and big one was Okay, it took some time because I wanted to be uh, long enough so that there's enough air inside. Okay, this enough air will help to uh, make your cake more soft. So, peel color like this, okay? Peel color. And we can start to add in eggs. One, uh, one egg at one time, okay? First egg and beat. Same speed. Okay, sweep down whenever you can. Okay, creamy and well mixed. Okay, and you can add the second egg. Same, beat until it's all well mixed. Okay, scrape down again. Always scrape down so it's all well mixed, there's no lumps, okay, in your mixture. <laughs> and done. This step two, adding eggs, is done, okay. So now we're gonna add in our melted chocolate. Okay, melt down to a watery consistency. Okay, not like a thick, like Nutella, maybe not. Okay, should be a little bit watery consistency. Add into your mixture. A and B to mix in. <laughs> Scrape down the sides.
Okay, smooth, no lumps or well mixed. Okay, and we're gonna add in our dry ingredient that is already sifted. Okay, you have to sift your dry ingredient. Okay, give it a mix first before turning on your machine. Okay, so this is to prevent the flour from flying out. Okay, mix first. And turn on your machine when there's uh, not much flour left. Okay, I'm gonna scrape down again. Okay. And one last good seating. And done. Okay, a smooth batter that you have. Okay, quite thick also. Okay, so we're gonna transfer into our baking pan okay this uh, baking pan is seven inch times seven inch okay it will depend on how thick you want your uh, brownies to be if you want it uh, thicker then you use a smaller uh, baking tip so when you bake it has a thickness okay I want to bake fast uh, for this class, so I will use this slightly bigger pan. So when you use bigger pan, the mixture is uh, more thin. The baking time is also less, okay? So if you use a smaller tin, the mixture is very thick layer, then you might need a longer baking time. Okay, spread up. And then, okay, ta -da. so we're gonna put into our preheated oven, which we turn on a while back at 170 to 180 degrees. We'll bake that for about 20 minutes. And we'll check the oven later on. So we are done with this making or gluten free brownie okay uh, if you're wondering where can i get the recipe okay you can get the recipe on my private facebook page uh, no facebook group okay facebook group okay if you want to join this group you have to search uh for this url link www.nanatang.com slash mini m-i-n-i mini mini Okay, so I think um, later on we will put it. Uh, are you able to put the www.nanatank.com slash mini? So you can see it on the screen. Okay, search for that Facebook group and I will add you in when you request uh, to be added in. Okay, so that is yeah. So you will be able to get the recipe after this session, okay? I will upload it after we are done with this session. So we have a little bit of time now, about 20 minutes while waiting for the gluten-free brownies to be done. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to type.
can you check if Instagram got any question? No question. Okay, Facebook also no question. <laughs> I think uh how how many? It's uh, six o'clock, so many people are not on Facebook. It's either busy with dinner or just and the work or cooking. If there's no questions, then we shall wait. Okay, while we wait, maybe I can talk a little bit about myself and what we usually do. Okay, over here at Nana Tang. Nana Tang. We do uh, workshops. So we do teach people how to bake, how to decorate your cake, and do some creative histories. Okay, for example, the upcoming month will be Mid Autumn Festival. So usually this period, we will come up with some uh, mooncake class, but not the classic mooncake class, because there are so many people who are doing the very classic mooncake already. <laughs> so uh, my specialty, one of the specialty is Wagashi, okay? What is Wagashi? Wagashi is a kind of Japanese mooncake. They call it Japanese mooncake, okay? It's quite a petite size, like this. Are you able to show two screen? Quite a petite size, like this. We call it Wagashi. This was made, like, a uh, very long ago probably one year, so it already hardened. Okay, what is wagashi? Most wagashi, uh, wagashi is the term that is used for Japanese dessert, okay? Wagashi means Japanese dessert. So under wagashi, there's many, many kinds of Japanese desserts, okay? One of it is this, we call it narikiri, narikiri, okay? It's a kind of bean paste dessert, white, white bean paste desserts. Okay, we also, it's also known as like a Japanese moon cake. So inside there's uh, some fillings, bean paste fillings also. You get to learn how to do the shaping, very delicate kind of shaping, which uh, Japanese are very good at, okay? They're always, everything very small, very meticulous, or very pretty. So that is what uh, Japanese created, Narikiri kind of wagashi. This is a class that we launched in this period. Okay, we also have like cake classes, buttercream, piping, okay, which is uh, our specialty as well, how to uh, do piping, okay, which um, not many people are very good at when it comes to piping because it requires a lot of uh, patience and practice. So you get to learn the technique and you get to practice in class and create this kind of uh, chandelier candle cake. Okay, it's a very trendy cake that is uh, trending in Korea. So we are Korean inspired as well. And for those who like fondant, okay, we also have fondant classes, okay, by our in-house uh, instructor, Yen, okay. If you have attended our class before, you should know who is Yen, okay. She's very, very good with fondant shaping, all the small details. When I always give up, she will do it, okay? I always give up doing the small details using fondant. <laughs> so she is the one with a lot of patience and uh, like to do really, really small details, okay? Which you can learn our fondant class over here as well. Okay, so some of the our classes, where to check out the details of the class, you have to go to our website, okay? Our website, nanatank.com, okay? Nanatank.com, go and browse our website. You should be able to find our class schedule, okay? Our class schedule over there, and you can find what you will be learning, uh, what is the pricing, what is the date, etc. okay? And if you have encountered uh, problems with the website, there will be a contact details that you can reach out to us, either email or WhatsApp, okay? Uh, that is for our classes. And if you're not so interested in classes, uh, you can, uh, we also do uh, sell cakes as well, cakes, customized cakes like this, 
okay? Or we do like small gift desserts like macaroons or macaroons. We call our macaroons macaroon. Okay, it's a very big kind of macaroon, very thick and filled with fillings. It's a very Korean inspired macaroon as well. Um, chunky macaroon. If you see some articles about us, we call it fat fat macaroon. Okay. Mm, that's a really no question, right? <laughs> okay. If I see. Thank you. We like our macaron as well. <laughs> uh -huh. I tried before and it tastes good like bean paste. Oh, I that's someone who tried before. Okay, this uh wagashi. Yes, we have uh we did sell some last year as well and. Uh, it's like a big case, really like Daosa, red bean, but maybe less sweet because it's white bean and less sugar version. So something chewy and uh, bean kind of sandy texture. Okay, it's not cream, it's not chocolate, it's really bean inside. It's a very traditional uh, Japanese dessert. Thank you, Tami. Okay. Let's see, let me pick. We have uh, one minute, I mean, about two minutes, two minutes uh, to checking our brownies. So if you can wait to keep on waiting, if not, actually this uh, live video will continue to be a normal video, okay? It will be still available on our Facebook group or Facebook page, just that you have to scroll to check. Okay, it will still be available there for you to view again. If you want to make this recipe and you forgot how to make it, you can view the video again, okay? It will still be there. Ah, some Ting Ting asks, uh, is it top and bottom heat for oven? Yes, top and bottom heat for oven and put in the middle rack. Right? It's a, a quite a classic. Most of the cakes or even macarons is a top and bottom heat for um, more even kind of a heat circulation, top and bottom, and in the middle rack. Okay, if you uh, put lower rack, the bottom will tau da. If you put on top rack, the top will tau da. So always the middle one. You are not grilling anything. So in the middle, whenever you take uh, most of the time, is always top and bottom heat, medium red. Are you Singaporean? <laughs> That's a, a very um, uh, cute question during this uh, session. I have many people asking me, are you Singaporean? I'm 100% Singaporean, if you really want to know that. <laughs> I know I don't sound like one or even don't look like one, but I'm 100% Singaporean. Okay, uh, let me see. Let us check the oven. Yes, uh, usually we like to uh, bring halfway through and uh, turn our pan, okay, rotate our pan, maybe uh, rotate like uh, 180 degree, okay, so that the outside is facing inside. Now the inside is facing outside. Because most of the time, oven has um, uh, is hotter inside. Okay, so if you want a little bit more, um, even baking heat, you can rotate halfway through. So we have to wait another ten minutes. Okay. Uh, any questions you have? Uh, do feel free to type down. Okay. I found less wind. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> okay. Or you can type now, uh, what would you like to see for the next session? Okay, in two weeks time. What would you like to see? And 
we can uh, it can be part of our consideration as well. You can type what would you like um, to see or uh, two weeks time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if you have baking khakis, okay, you are baking body or friends who like to go baking, do invite them to join my Facebook group, okay, which is uh it's called Na Tang's uh mini live session, but you, you, I think it's hard to find. You just search for the link www.nanatang.com slash mini, M-I-N-I. It's uh, much easier. Aha, uh -huh. someone wants to see another fat, fat karoon recipe. Sure. Uh, you can, uh, we, I think it was what the first, ses first session that we made a uh, rocher pepper crumbs. okay if you scroll down all the way there's quite a lot of posts you scroll down all the way to the previous uh post you will be able to see the recipe for pepper current if you join that facebook group. okay uh someone asked do i need to turn the fan on you mean while baking you can turn the fan on because brownies is not so uh, sensitive in the case, okay? For example, if you are baking something sensitive, like chiffon cake or like macaron, okay? Anything a bit sensitive to heat, you can uh, turn off, turn off the fan. If it's something not sensitive like cookies or brownies, totally just throw in and bake kind of a uh, dessert, you can turn on the fan, it's not a problem. You can turn on the fan to bake because it's not so sensitive to heat. Uh, Cheryl asks, when making macarons, the room must be cool, easy. Cause I made at home and it just went flatter than when I did at your workshop. Ah, uh, do you remember when I said? Uh, don't, don't turn off the question. <laughs> I, I have very bad memory, so I need to reread the question again. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, if you, when you did in my class, I specifically tell you why your macaron failed. There's many reasons why it failed. The most common reason is overmix. Okay, when you overmix your mixture, too much uh, air removed and it become too oily. You squeeze out too much oil from the almond powder. It become too runny. And when you pipe it, it totally spread out uh, too fast and too much. And when you bake, maybe there's no feed or the feed is very short, which I definitely mentioned in every class, every macaron class. So it's a, I suspect it's a problem of over mixing. Okay, when you tell me it's a uh, flatter uh, than what you did in class, so uh, it can be over mixed. Or one reason is the meringue is wrong. Your meringue is not uh, beaten the correct consistency, not stiff enough, and it's too runny and too soft. Okay and not enough air inside. So meringue can be a problem. So you need to uh, practice, as I mentioned, every macaron. Uh, when you do it at home, you definitely need to practice uh, quite a few times to uh, catch that sweet spot, okay? Because your environment, your oven, your ingredient is not the same. So you have to practice. It's not the one-time thing, okay? In class, Learn one time to remember and know all the tips and tricks that you are supposed to take note of. Then when you go home, you use these tips to make them, okay? Uh, try again, 
Okay, try again. Do try again. Flower piping, Lini, Lini wants to see flower piping. We also have a had a flower piping session, probably two months ago. I I can't remember. We also have one. If you scroll down our page, you will be able to see a flower piping one as well. But definitely, there's uh, many kinds of flowers uh that we can pipe, not just roses. Yes, hydrangeas, gaviota, peony, blossom, etc., etc. So, yeah, that can be one of our consideration as well. Chocolate cake. Someone wants a really simple chocolate cake. Oh, sure. We can uh, think about that also. Okay. You're welcome, Cheryl. Royal icing cookie. Okay, unfortunately here we don't do royal icing. Uh, it's not what we like to do. Uh, we we do. Uh, we are very strong in uh, our mindset that we do what we like to do. So I like to do flower piping. I like to do buttercream. I do a lot of buttercream and some petit uh, fakruns or wagashi. And yen like to do fondant. So we are very particular about uh, doing what we love. But unfortunately, royal icing is not what we love. So uh, I would have to tell you I'm not going to show that, okay? It's not something that we love to do. And uh, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, experts out there who can show you and you can learn from for royal icing. Okay, the bean cookie or brookie. Mm, yeah, this is a very trendy nowadays. A lot of YouTube videos that I saw. So I haven't really tried it myself, but I tried eating it, yes. It's like uh, brownies, like a cake texture for cookie. Very fat and thick and kind of uh, chewy kind of texture. Yeah, we can uh, also think about that as well. <laughs> yeah, feel free to give me your suggestions. Uh, we can think about uh, what we can do and share the next time. Uh, cupcakes, uh, we did cupcake, I think last week. Not last week. Uh, no, no, not last week. I think two sessions back, we did an apple cinnamon uh, combo cupcake as well. Sure. Okay. Come, more suggestions. Any suggestions on Instagram? <laughs> Cupcakes, uh, sure. I think uh, most of you like something really simple, like cupcake or chocolate cake. Uh, actually, pretty something pretty simple. And uh, if you are, uh, I think most of you should be uh, quite tech savvy. You can watch my video, means you are very tech savvy already. So you can also uh, go and watch some YouTube uh, video and uh, trial and errors. That's the fun of baking, isn't it? Okay, to do trial and errors and testing out and eating them after big is uh, all about having fun. Okay, having fun. You can also uh, Google some recipe. Oh, rainbow crepe cake. Okay, oh, someone asked about crepe cake as well previously. Oh, crepe cake. Mm, we never really do it, but yes, I uh, have done it uh, some time ago. It's not that difficult as long as you have a pan. It's like a tin pancake. It's nothing related to baking. It's like a tin pancake and you assemble cream and frost them. Wagashi. Yes, uh, unfortunately, I won't show something that I'm teaching. Okay, this is uh, the rule that I have. If I uh, show something... Uh, that I teach, maybe it's unfair for students who pay for the class. Okay, so no Akashi, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Elaine. Uh, chocolate chip cookie. Mm, sure, yeah. It's also very uh, easy and uh, basic uh, recipe. Okay, cool. So, uh, so now the brownie is done. Okay, right now hot from the oven. Oh, 
and of course you you check whether or not it is a uh, big by using too big maybe a little is it a little bit under under big but oh uh, yeah a little bit wet it's like a little bit under big but actually it's not a big problem for brownies okay it's not a big problem why because brownie is uh, supposed to have a fudgy uh, texture and um, moist texture so you can actually uh, leave this as it is after 20 minutes it's, it's uh, a little bit wet it's actually fine okay if you want some uh, fudgy kind of uh, texture if you uh, bake it a little bit longer it will be more dry yes uh, but maybe not as uh, chocolatey as the wet one okay so I'm okay to not continue baking and of course take out from your pan and let it cool down uh, in the cooling rack okay it's good to cool down totally before uh, cutting it will be easier to cut yeah, I, want, I want to cut a slice out. Okay, so brownie is done. Uh, what's that? Fruit tart. No, someone asked for a fruit tart. Again, unfortunately, we teach uh, fruit tarts uh, in class. So maybe that won't be one of the uh, uh, free sharing session because it will be unfair for students who pay for fruit tart class. So no fruit tart. Yeah. Cooling bread. Okay, so a little bit uh, too hot now, but you can see that's a crispy, uh, a good brownie. Okay, it's supposed to be moist inside, a good classic brownie, moist inside, and you have this uh, crust. I call it the crispy crust, okay? This kind of crust texture that you have, okay? Good brownies should have this, okay? So maybe I'll try to cut a slice out for you to see the side view. Strawberry shortcake and why have you started your baking classes? Some of us have why I started my baking class. I'm doing a free sharing free sharing session here. Okay, but we also do paid version of baking class. Okay, which you can find uh the schedule on my website again www.nanatang.com. Okay, and this is the side view for brownies okay you can see really uh nice brownie is thin like i mentioned uh if you want thicker brownie you bake in a smaller pan okay i use seven times seven square if you like thicker you make you bake in a smaller pan okay i'm gonna take a bite mm. Are really wise. Okay, brownie is supposed to be dense. Okay, I like my brownie dense and chocolatey. So this is what you need to achieve. Brownie is nothing fluffy like chiffon. Okay, you're not supposed to get a fluffy kind of a brownie. It's supposed to be dense and moist like this. Huh? It's good if you eat it with ice cream, warm. And with ice cream, vanilla ice cream, definitely one of the best classic dessert that you can create. Okay. If there is no more question, I will end the session soon. Okay, so I will give you 30 seconds to comment uh, any last comment or last uh, questions. Please type now. Hmm. 
Ah. Ah. Oh yes, that's a promo, <laughs> promo that I forgot to mention. If you are uh, keen in hands-on baking class, not just for watching me, uh, free salary session, if you like to do it by yourself, uh, using your own hands, make them and bring home to give it to your family, friends, you can consider our baking class and the promo now, okay, if you use this promo code weekday 50, weekday 50, this is a big, uh, most uh, for weekday class, uh, as explained by the promo code is weekday 50. So if you join any weekday class, any weekday class, and apply this promo code, you can get a $50 up, okay? It's a very, very good promo code, $50 a lot, okay? Almost like 30 to 40% discount. So if you use this promo code on a weekday class, you can get a $50 up, okay? Uh, it's a first come, first off basis, and this promo code will expire end of this month, August, okay? Weekday 50. And uh, if you're not so keen in weekday class, you have to work or you don't have any more leave, uh, and what you want to do, like a weekend class, uh, then you can uh, try to get a buddy to do join the class with you. That will be a buddy discount, okay? It's uh, automatically uh, given on the website. If you book on the website, it's $70 off for a buddy discount, 2%, 70% off, okay? How to add nuts before baking the brownie. You can sprinkle nuts or fold in your nuts. Walnut or almond nuts, whole nuts, chopped ones. You can fold in at the very last stage, okay? After uh, well mixed all the ingredients, fold in your nuts or even chocolate chip, okay? Nuts or chocolate chip. At the last stage, pour in and again pour into a pan and bake it. Uh, it should be similar baking time, not much changes. Okay, you can add on that, not a problem. Okay, Toki. No more question, right? Okay, Toki. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me in this session. Again, the recipe will be posted later on, and you can feel free to view this video anytime you want. It will be available on the Facebook group. Okay, see you next time in two weeks, and those uh, doing uh, hands-on class, I'll see you here as well. Bye-bye, bye-bye.